around here. It, it's worth checking and worth kind of just having a double look. Now, I wonder if our aerial is going to be okay through here. How are we going to do there? We're going to be all right, Fium? There we go. So we've just gotten through by the skin of our teeth. Oh, I wonder why they were all shouting. I can't see anything. So typically if they shout like that, it's when they've spotted something and they've seen a predator. But I don't see any sign of anything. I'm looking around as much as I can. Just checking in the shady sections. Maybe there's a leopard that's lying low. Maybe there we go. There's a leopard. Tumba. We've got Tumba. Yes. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so I haven't seen him the whole time I've been back at work. And there we go. We've managed to find him. And I said there might be a leopard behind the dam wall. I was convinced that we might find one in this heat and there we go how cool is that so he's lying in a bit of a horrible spot it's not great for viewing but it's still a leopard in the shade and it certainly makes my day when I find spots and the other interesting thing is his belly is full 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 so he's got a nice big round tummy which means that he's obviously had a meal at some point so that's really cool I'm glad we managed to come down to Chitwa that was a good stroke of luck wasn't it well done Viem as well Viem's looking out and he heard the impala snort first before me so there we go it takes a bit of a team to be able to spot these things how cool is that i love finding leopards it's the best thing in the world hello boy so sorry megan if you can just repeat that for me my earpiece just pulled out So, our oh, beard, you say bingo? Exactly. Bingo is the exact right word for this. This is so cool. I'm so glad we managed to find him. And luckily, he's also lying in... Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest place, for sure, and, and we could have better areas, but he's lying in a place that at least we can find him and we can see him. And hopefully, at some point on the afternoon, we'll spend some time here. There's lots of impalas, lots of water buck, lots going on. We can spend a bit of time, and we can eventually then try and kind of see him maybe coming out. I'm hoping he's going to head towards the dam wall a little bit later because that'll be absolutely beautiful if he does. But I'm super, super happy to see him. It, he's getting big as well. He's looking quite bulky. I suppose he's got a full tummy, so that's why. But it looks like him. I, I'm so excited that it's definitely not Hassan. I know that. But it does look like our boy Tumba. So this is where he's obviously been hanging about, is in this particular section. Hopefully he turns so I can just double check. Like I say, I might just be jumping the gun slightly, but it looks like him. Big enough pause, that's for sure. But isn't that beautiful? Now, I wonder where the meal's been that they've been feeding on because he's definitely got a meal somewhere because that belly is massive. So he's fed somewhere, maybe even in this particular section. And so it might be our carcass hidden in this drainage. We once saw Hosanna here playing with the scrub here. It's exactly the same place where we had Hosanna. And so maybe, just maybe, he's got a kill also hidden in this deep gully. It's a great place for a leopard to hide a carcass and to hide a meal. And so that could be where he is, sort of hiding it in somewhere in this little thicket. And he might have just gone for water and now has come in. And the reason why these impalas saw him is not because of actually him being out and invisible is that they've got a lot of height so a number of the impalas are standing on top of the dam wall and that means they can actually see into this drainage and down and that's why they were managing to spot him but now they're not so sure they can't really see him so he's actually in a good place for hunting a little bit later if some of the impalas stream past here again maybe just maybe he might get lucky and hunt again although with the belly like that i'm not sure there's going to be too much hunting going on by our young lad at all but so good to see him. I'm so glad we've managed to kind of find where he is. And this is great news because if he's here, it means he's been spending a bit of time in this area. And so now we know where he is. Tumba seems to be a character that spends a lot of time in the same place and doesn't seem to move around a lot. And so if we know where he is, it's a good place to check and to keep moving around and to keep coming and back to. And eventually, you know, we'll pick him up. I reckon quite a lot in behind this Chitwa Dam wall area. It's a great place for leopards. I've always had a lot of luck in this section and always kind of have had great leopard sightings behind this dam wall it's shady it's thick there's a lot of gullies and drainages which is great for hunting so it is the perfect place if you are a leopard to spend time but look at how beautiful those eyes are it's most definitely tumba and i believe a lot of you agree that it is him it's just now that i can see his face a little bit better it is him 
when I first spotted him, he just glanced over at us and those eyes just looked like him. And so that's why I got a bit excited by all of it. So I didn't actually make sure. Kerry, you're asking, you wonder if he'll hunt tonight if he's that full. Well, Tumba is an interesting character, is that he always seems to be up to something. And so even with a full belly, I'd imagine he's going to be quite explorative and try and kind of move around, explore a tree, shall he, should I say? I don't know where that other word came from. But he might move around, and if he gets an opportunity like Impala's coming towards him, he'll most certainly take it. He's an opportunistic animal, he's a young male, he's finding his feet. And so any chance to hunt, he will take. Even if he's full like this, it's also just the curiosity and the, and the youthful existence exuberance in him that will make him kind of go after certain animals even with a full tummy like that so I don't know if he will be too full of hunting but he'll definitely want to probably water you can see he's panting quite heavily it's a hot afternoon so regardless of what happens I'm pretty sure he's going to move at some point and either go and drink maybe towards the dam which would be ideal or he might go behind us here in this drainage section there's a beautiful little water point inside there that's very reclusive and very kind of hidden and it's a great place for a leopard to go and have a spot of water so you might head in those directions we'll just have to see but what I think I'm going to do is just quickly reposition us because VM's got not much to work with the back of his head and if I reverse back I remember being here with Sebastian and we actually found a way to view Hosanna in a similar place when we just reversed a little bit and went into this clearing here so VM you're gonna to have to tell me if you can see you won't see much just yet but hold on so it just goes to show you this deep gully, I mean, if from where I am right now, which is pretty much on top of Tumba at the moment, I can't see him at all. I don't have any view of him. I can't see any sort of sign of him. He's right below us, but it is why he likes to spend time in a place like this. Hello, boy. Look at those big eyes just looking up at us. How's that, BM? Can you see him? Yeah, is that better? It's a weird view to be looking down on a leopard. It's not very often that you look down as steep as this onto a leopard itself, but he has the most beautiful eyes. Hello. What you been up to? Where have you been? Far too long that we haven't seen him. Oh, he's a beautiful cat though. He is going to be a seriously stunning individual when he's older in life. He really is got one of the most captivating markings on a leopard that they dark and black and rich around his face those light greenish eyes you can see his ears are still in perfect condition and he's got his mom's coat he's got that darker kind of orangey gold coat much darker than what we see from Hasana so he's a really good looking individual and one that I'm sure is going to captivate many in his life now I'm going to sit and spend my afternoon with Tumbo because this was our kind of goal was to try and find a leopard this afternoon and I found my favorite individual so I'm gonna spend as long as I can with him and hopefully we'll have an epic afternoon and he'll move around but while we do that Jamie has got something that is already on the move <laughs> 